What's going on everybody? James Wayne with Steer Your Mind and welcome to another video. The light is a little dim. The sun is not quite out. Um, it's a little cloudy. But hopefully you guys can see me well enough. But um, but yeah, in this video, I basically want to talk about the story that we tell ourselves. And the, the story that we tell ourselves over and over again, it um, determines our personality. But, oh, I almost forgot. Before I get into this, make sure you like the video and comment down below what you want to see next. And also, subscribe to the channel Steer Your Mind for more content. But yes, um, anyway, I want to mention that um, we have a story that we tell ourselves um, which will determine our reality and how our life would turn out. And it all starts when we're young, you know, when when we um, we want to get on that football team or that basketball team. But what prevents us from doing that at times is the story that we tell ourselves and the story that we stick to. And in most cases, the story that we stick to, it can pretty much take over your whole life if you let it. But let me give you an example. Like if you want to join a basketball team or football team, you would say things to yourself like, I'm too small, I'm too fat, I'm not fast enough. And some people just say that they're underweight. But what's crazy about the mind is that you could convince yourself to do anything. You can convince yourself to believe anything. The um, criminal that robbed a bank last week can convince himself that he wasn't there and that he didn't do it. And some people pass lie detector tests and things like that because they convinced themselves and it made it a reality to them. So when they finally take the lie detector test, they're not reacting to the questions because their subconscious mind already believes what they told themselves over and over. So you could tell yourself over and over that you're not too short or too fat for the football or basketball team or whatever. But um, any excuse, no matter what it is, it's just a story that you tell yourself. And for the most part, those stories are false. But the only thing that um, the only thing that really matters throughout all this is whether or not you have the ability to change your story. So if you believe certain things about yourself and it's keeping you down or it's keeping you away from the goals that you want, sorry about the sound, it's a bus going by. But um, let me see. Wait, another one. Yeah, it's gone. But um, but yeah, pretty much at the end of the day, you know, it's your life that you have to um deal with. And if you wanna go after that um that that great job you want, or be a real estate agent, or be a professional basketball player, be a rapper, be anything you wanna be, then you have to tell a different story and change the game completely. And once you are aware of paradigms and how your old self can drag you down, and when you're trying to construct and build your new self, your old self will not only drag you down, but keep you down. Now, what you got to do is recreate your own story and reinvent yourself. And most people go through life through poverty forever and they don't reinvent themselves they don't step outside of that box that they're in so if if you want success or if you want um to pursue anything that you um are that you dreamed of and you always wanted to do but there's something that's pulling you back well my friends that's the paradigm that is what's going to um keep you being your old self 
it's going to keep you down. So what you have to do is eventually, if you get to that stage where you're sick and tired, as they say, and you just say, I had enough, I'm fed up, I want to change. Then that's when the um, dots start connecting. That's when things start happening. And that's when you actually have that motivation to change. You know, if you're sick of poverty, if you're sick of struggling, if you're sick of not being on the basketball team, football team, and you know that you got only four years in high school to, to um, be on that team. So there's a sense of urgency there. So you're like, okay, you know, I'm sick of not, um, I'm sick of me thinking I'm not good enough and I'm sick of just all these negative thoughts and I'm going to, I'm going to join a basketball team next year or this year if it's the beginning of the school year and and just believe that say anything that you want in your life say it to yourself and just keep aware that the mind is tricky it can pick up and um, you could pick up and react to anything emotionally and it can manifest so make sure you're aware that the mind is gullible and that anything you say will be held against you. Kind of like, uh, sounds kind of like reading your rights, you know. Anything you say to your mind will be held against you. So keep that in mind. And I want to make this video short and make sure you guys get all the information that you needed in this video. So make sure you... Um, like the video, like I said, uh, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you want me to make next. And this is James Wayne with Steer Your Mind. Over, out. Enjoy your day.